Let's widen this conversation. We're joined by Wole Ojewale, the Regional Organized Crime Observatory Coordinator for Central Africa at the Institute for Security Studies. He joins us from Dakar. Thank you very much, Wole, for joining us. Now, with the current stalemate between Guinea and ECOWAS, what are the other options on the table for ECOWAS? Well, thank you so much. The option for the ECOWAS is very, very clear. And it is to explore every possibility that they can to ensure that democratic transition is um, uh, embarked upon immediately. And I think the first thing which the president of Nigeria has actually activated, I mean, spoken about is the fact that there might be the need to um, activate the Article 45 protocol of ECOWAS on democratic governance. And that implies that um, um, not recognizing the election that brought Apakonde in with the legitimacy crisis that trade it, and conduct and support the democratic institution within the country, working with AU, UN, to ensure that there is prompt election that takes place in the country. And the starting point is probably to put, on, put up a transition government in place that is going to spearhead that within the next six months. That is the option. Right. So we've also noticed, uh, Wale, that France has remained very muted in all of this, which is really out of character for the country. It gets very involved in, its, in, in affairs of its former French colonies. What's your reading of this silence? Well, I think it's a two-way thing. You know that France um, has been very, very strong in terms of political leaning um, of Francophone African countries. So it gets everybody worrisome, like you have said. And I think probably France is just trying to read the, the, I mean, read the situation and intervene as appropriate. But I'm very, very optimistic that France is going to support a democratic process within the country. And then when, um, I think um, the ECOWAS should play the lead role here and not really be too concerned about what role France is going to play on the long run because this is our own continent and this is our own region. And the primary responsibility for democratic restoration and sustenance actually lies with uh, with ECOWAS. So I think we should fear, we should worry less about the position of France in this and just uh, concentrate on how ECOWAS is going to provide the lead. Watara has gone there. The president of Ghana has gone there. And I think um, uh, going by what has happened in Mali and the role that uh, ECOWAS is playing, we are also going to get a positive response from Guinea on, in this regard. Well, you did mention Mali, and you just took the words out of my mouth, Wale. Events in Guinea resulting in the ousting of President Alpha Conde. These are just the latest examples of the army intervening in national politics. It started in Zimbabwe. We saw an attempted one in Niger. In Mali, it's happened twice. Now we're talking about Guinea. It almost appears as if military interventions are occurring more often on the continent. Is this an, what is this an indicator of? What's going on? I think it's an indicator of two things. One, it is the legitimacy deficit that is hanging on some of this precedent. Um, uh, you, for instance, in the case of Guinea, the, the, the president actually subverted the constitutional process by uh, vying for the position of the president for the third time. And that was not uh, well received by the people, the Guineans. And the second thing is the democratic government that is actually not delivering good governance to the people. I think that is what is making, uh, uh, that, is, that is what is calling for the alluring of the military rule. But by historical experience and antecedents, I think those are the forefront of that that you saw jubilating on the street. Probably they are children of recent history who didn't know what, what military rule look like in some of this country. So I think it's a mix of historical uh, knowledge and then democrat uh, the poor democratic governance and legitimacy deficit that is uh, actually affecting some of this country and is making military uh, rule to look ap uh, appealing to some of them. But um, in the recent of it, I believe um, um, military rule is not going to take a, 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 a second uh, hold on the continent, particularly in the region which has been described as um, a region that is actually opening up to democracy. So I think we should fear less. ECOWAS is on top of the game, and we are going to see positive response. ECOWAS is not going to tolerate military rule within West African sub-region.